What's up, everybody? We are back here at CEO 2018 Tech World Tour. I'm, of course, Rip, joined by the legend Mark Man. We're moving along in our pools here. I think we're in pool G's now. We got yeah. Mr. Anakin coming up. You guys might have heard of him. Yeah, I heard you made it out of your pools as well, so good stuff. I made it out of my pool. I'm not that old yet, surprisingly. We got no, it, though. You got Move. you. I believe in hey, you. Hey, also, I beat Sherdell. I took out Europe. So they're out of the tournament already? I don't know. Is that right? Did you beat him in losers? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's done. So That was all of Europe, though? I didn't know. I, I, mm, yeah, yeah. I think that is all of Europe. I defended home turf uh, to Europe, but not to South America. El Negro got me. Damn it. Dang oh, it. this is a, another winner's qualifier match. It's going to be Red Bull Anakin, who just celebrated his birthday. If you guys follow him on social uh -huh. media, let him know. TK Anakin uh, going up against Nock, a.k.a. Lil Jin Boy. Is this going to be a Jack Mirror? Lil Jin Boy? Was that his name? I feel like that was his old name, yeah. Was it not Lil Eddie Boy? Man, I'm making stuff up. <laughs> but he, he used to use Eddie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I got confused. All right. Here we go. Oh, he's, oh, okay, Kazumi. So he has a he has a plan for that. All right. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure Anakin is using Jack here. Well, here we go. Jack versus Kazumi. It's I love these headsets. You can hear everything. Yeah. You can hear <laughs> Anyways, my head. right into the the matchup here. Red Bull Anakin starting it off. Okay, hey, nice. Hey. Wow, right th through the launcher there. Able to get the down forward, too. Hey, 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 hey. It's not going to get the wall here, but very close to it. Oh, slides in. Wow, oh, Toki didn't hit there. Oh, man. Bad now start for Nock, yeah. He's still got the rage, you know. He comes out of nowhere. Running two out of nowhere as well. Yeah, and it kind of seals away a lot of the things that Jack can do because the 14 frame startup of her rage drive, it changes everything, mm -hmm. especially against Jack. You know, Jack's down forward, too. Not the same. Right. Damn, big forward to counter to start things off. I actually like that start around sometimes, huh? Oh, yeah. He likes that big boot kick. He likes the big palm. Oh, oh a blockable. It's like, yo, he's part of the And he converts it into a follow-up combo. Man, Anakin is playing nuts now. Two rounds straight. Now to the roof of the building. Still celebrating his birthday out here. Oh, yeah. He's partying hard. All right, not waking up, though. He gets the low parry. Yeah, not going to do too much damage, but the positioning is uh -huh. everything here. He gets the four up to follow up and the flip for the Oki. Wow. He techno, he's looking at that low parry for like 30 seconds. He's like, I'm holding down forward. You're going to do a low. Yeah, now what, though? Oh, he oh, got him. him. Dang. He probably hit a button. He's like, I don't want to get unblockable again. Oh, boy. Knock still in. That's running to his clutch for him. Oh, that could have been rage drive. Ah, that was it. Damn, three straight rounds for Anakin, very quick. You know, I feel like because Anakin did the unblockable early on with the double spin, he, he did the yeah. double count, that messed up Nock because as soon as he saw the windup, uh -huh. he was like, I'm hitting a button. I'm not going to get hit by it again. That was the whole setup. But Man, two spins is unblockable. That's huh? crazy, though. Like, if, more. if you think about the setup, like, who does that? Who does a 125 frame move as a setup? <laughs> think about it. That's a slow move. Anakin's on another level right now. Yeah. What is the last event that Anakin went to? Combo Breaker? I believe it was Combo Breaker. All right. Well, here we go. Game number two. Going to the Dragon's Nest. Knock. Tournament veteran. Been playing for years and years and years. All right, let's see how Sticking we can start Sticking with Kazumi, too. Yeah, it's really interesting. You know, he was using Jack earlier. Maybe he's not. Not feeling from Oh my god, power crush! We're seeing all kinds of, you know, moves from his repertoire today. Yeah, we, this is a little bit different, Anakin. Yeah, I want to see him do fireballs and dragon punches next. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Like with geese? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't even have a dragon punch. Yeah, I know, but he's going to make one happen. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, interesting too. Knock isn't really punishing Jack down for too well. He was punching with 1 1 2, but, you know, Kazumi obviously has a 6 down for 1 2. Yeah, she could knock down, and that's the important thing. That's a solid attack for her, right? But right now, Knock with the lead, Anakin with Rage. What is he going to do? Oh he's going to have to do something here. Sliver of Life Life, but don't count out Anakin. Wow. Oh my gosh, he knew not to punish you because it was out of range. And Knock is fishing so Look, see, he's Why did you? Why would you not finish it? He was too far. For, I mean, oh my God, Anakin's right back in it now. Blue debug coming. Yeah, it could be. You know, uh, there's no time. Like, better. Nice. Okay, I Good like choice. it. Keep it safe. Down yeah. four one. All right, so Nock getting his first round of the set so far. Yeah, he's definitely not playing to his full potential right now, right? Oh, here we go. Another low parry. Start things off for Nock. Yeah, it makes the adjustment as well. He should, oh, interesting. Just out of range. Maybe Jack's hey. legs kind of messed it up. Yeah, second hey. hit counter for Anakin. 
That move is so annoying to deal with your wild dance two up from Jack. Oh yeah, I guess because you I mean, like the you want to punish, everything. but then the delay hits you, and then sometimes you'll get counter hit, and then a free combo. Oh man, I don't and like. And they do wild dance two, wild dance two again. You're like, oh crap. And that's uh, that's one of his better tracking moves too, up close. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh, nice. Able to get the low parry still in time. Uh -huh. oh. Okay, the big son, what you gonna Yo, do? Tiger. I feel like Ray Drive to kill. Oh. What? Interesting choice. Anakin maybe yeah. was looking to, you know, wake up in that position with a wild standing attack, not not whip anything, just hit the ground attack. Well, that would have been bad no matter what, because Nock had Ray Drive, and that would have chip killed him, probably. That's a great point, too. Oh, oh. my gosh, this is what I've been doing. Wild standing one. All the way. Uh -huh. nice. Close, 50% off. Man, all these local just out of range. Jack for the leg. Oh, Another man. one. This is a stark comparison to what we saw in that last match where Anakin won three rounds straight. Now, Nox, opportunity here. Never mind. Eat uh -huh. the leg. Eat the leg. Camel, camel pants. Cam I like it. Camel pants. I definitely heard camel pants. I was like, boy, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to end up somewhere. <laughs> oh. No, I said camel. I, I like to cover up my mistakes. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Oh boy, punish that! Come on! Yeah, knock. at least get the knockdown, you know. But Anakin, you know, his, his movement and his spacing are immaculate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he's behind in this game, and you know, in first two format in these pools, you really don't want to fall behind, especially now in the winners qualifiers. Three people make it out of each pool. Yeah, you don't want to give anyone any inch at all. They'll take it for as far as they can take it. Uh oh, mm -hmm. especially with their camel pants. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! Uh oh. Great block for Knox. What's he gonna do? Rage drive. Use it. Spend the ragey, please. Oh, just See, spend it. That's the problem. You gotta. He's, he was confident. I mean, you know, running two is a great option. Oh, right. It's plus. But if you're not gonna get it blocked, what's the point? Wow. Oh. That was unfortunate. Wild said it won the one one two whip right in her face, right in his face, both of their faces. Yeah, we're looking at the upcoming pools as well. There's a lot of amazing players there. We'll let you guys know about them, but after this match, yeah. oh, Anakin, oh, oh, oh. Counter it for it was set point for Anakin. Not trying to make a comeback, stay alive in the winner's side of the bracket. One plus two throw, no oh, That's going to be it, and Anakin, two matches straight. Well fought in the second match, but yeah, man. Not got a two-round lead. Yeah, he had it. Let's talk about Pool H, though. Oh, wait, what? That can't be Pool H. No way. That's got to be like Pool H and G and I or something, right? I don't right? know. It looks pretty great. So what we're being told, so Pool H, H one, one through four. four. All right, four yeah. pools. So in the, in that same block that's going to be happening, these yeah. matches that we're going to be seeing over the next few hours, we have UIU's Peeling, we have Cody, we have Trungi, mm -hmm. we have newly sponsored Dimeback. Equinox, right? Yeah, Equinox. Equinox, Equinox. Equinox, Equinox. We'll learn later. Uh, we'll, we'll ask Dimeback. Why don't oh, we yeah, ask that'll Dimeback? that'll go well. What's your sponsor's name, bro? EQNX. <laughs> yeah. All right, Perfect. well, Rixta is also in there. Gandito, the mm -hmm. legend, you know, he was a runner-up at one of the past EVO tournaments. He was. Uh, back in the old man days. 2008. Have, yeah, Echo Fox, JDCR, Ace Unlimited, and uh, Tasty Steve is actually in these pools Does as well. Does Tasty Steve count is the question? Is a, is a notable player? If Steve uses Paul Phoenix, he is a super notable player. Let me tell you, Paul Phoenix is his best character. He refuses to listen to me, but it is. All right, well, you remember uh, during the World Finals, you kind of convinced JDCR to use Heihachi? Yeah. You started the chant. Uh -huh. Do you think you could do the same with Steve? Do you think he'll break under pressure if you try to convince him? If the him? whole crowd is chanting for Steve to pick Paul Phoenix, uh -huh. I think he'll do it. All right. We'll see then. So supposedly Tanakana is in the H pools as well, but we're waiting for her to arrive. I'm not sure if I she's here. I heard that her flights didn't work out. So oh, really? So did she not go that's home? That's what I heard. Or that was yesterday, not... though. That was the last update well, that, I got. That's unfortunate. You know, there was a lot of weather issues. Uh, depending on where you were coming from around the world, whether it was Japan or maybe if you had a layover in Atlanta, a lot of players mm -hmm. did not make it out because of that. It just sucks. It's just unfortunate. Right. Yeah. And, you know, I think Tanukano was actually supposed to be in Peeling's pool. Oh, so, so yeah, that is the H. Yeah, they were supposed to have a rematch. Yeah. Right. So I saw the the, tw the Twitter stuff. Looks like that might not be happening. Bummer. And confirmation on your screen. She did get bodied by flights. That sucks. All right. Wah, wah, wah. Well, at least you could be tied for last place. Points for someone. Yeah. Nope. She gets, uh, I think you get, how many points do you get for tied for last place? None. Oh, okay, my bad. I thought I thought we gave charity points Maybe out to losers. Like, I think what do we give it up to? Like top 16? Yeah, top one point. Top 16? One point. Well, here we go. Pool H1 kicking off. We got two unknown players to me. Yeah, we got right in and Greg going at it. Hitbox action. Oh, interesting. <laughs> All right. I tried hitbox for a second. It's, it's difficult. 
It is, right? I mean, there's certain things that are much easier, certain things you can do that are impossible to do on other controllers, but is it easy to play with it? <laughs> Not sure. There's a couple he, players out there, though. Yeah, there's a few. Duke right? Wu-Tang. Duke Wu-Tang, Doodlehead. Um, what that? Uh, the kid that uses Kazuya. BR Rule, yeah. That's yeah, the yeah. one, yeah. Because he got That's exactly what I was thinking, too. Yeah, we both went to that right away. <laughs> and he came out to a Wizard World, and he was very impressed with his uh, Mishima on Hitbox. I think Kazuya, if I remember correctly. Here we go. Who H1? Chilling still. It's kind of the morning, right? It's like the afternoon now. Yeah, well, it's about noontime over here, so lunchtime. Well, we got some Tekken 6 boys. Whoa, Bob versus so Miguel. a Tekken 6 matchup. Yeah. I was just talking to Steve like, about how we, s during these events, that we see more and more characters, pretty much almost the entire cast. Mm -hmm. And I, this, I think this event is already lighting up for that. We're seeing a lot of characters. Woo who kicked the start things up. Oh man. All right, these guys are going to be swinging like crazy. Belly's to attack. Man, homing attack? No, sir. All right, yeah, take the legs. All right, Greg definitely seems like he knows what he's doing here with Miguel. He knows that to the Savage Dance. You know, early in these pools, you never know what you're going to get. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's always a mixed bag. I mean, mixed you know, bag it's, it's, it's us, us as commentary teams. I mean, we got to be prepared for everything. We got to yep. call the shots, right? Mm -hmm. But. More often than not, you know, during these second World Tour events, we've been blessed with just so many great matches from the get-go. Like, yeah, you know, so Steve and I were here at 10 a.m. We're like, what's going on? Yeah. We got any good matches? We probably don't have shit. Oh, my God. Did you see that match? That poke chop match yeah. today? Oh, my God. I, I saw the, oh. and the Detroit boys in the crowd. Yeah, man, they dude, were they're rowdy. Hooey. That was fun, though. I was telling people, man, the seats may have been empty, but the hearts were full of it was rage loud, and passion. Bro. But here we go. Ryan answering back with the bomb. You know, I'm surprised we don't see too much Bob, man. I think Bob is still such an amazing character, especially oh, damage no. output-wise. Yeah, I think the problem is that he has to be a little bit riskier than he was before. Yeah, he definitely does. I mean, I just feel like, you know, so many people bitch out and pick, you know, Dragon out. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a problem. It's a problem. I would like to see more Bob instead of Dragon at this point, right? Yeah. And I hated seeing Bob before. So, I mean, you remember when he got revealed at Evo, I was like, oh my god, Bob. Yeah, well, that's why they had it revealed, too, because I told him Bob wouldn't go off yeah. too well. <laughs> But, you know, as you can see, he's no longer a huge problem like he was in the past. No. And I, yeah, I think he could. Oh, beautiful. Sure you can run. Man, he lost that first round. But You know, uh, recently I was going to mention the, the Tekken Damn. Project team. Uh, E3 just passed by, right? Yeah. So uh, recently the Tekken Project team got a lot of flack from uh, from the community or people on social media. They're like, how come you guys didn't announce anything at E3? Oh. And then uh, Michael Murray, one of the members of the Tekken Project team, and even Haradasan mentioned, like, why would we reveal something at E3 where it could get lost? You, you guys know, if you know the history of Tekken and the Tekken Project team, they usually announce things at certain events or their own events, right? Mm -hmm. They don't, you know, oh yeah, they don't waste it away at, at, at an event like E3. I remember, uh, I mean, this is not even really Tekken Project, but Street Fighter Cross Tekken, was not a uh, it was a Comic Con. Comic Con, yeah, exactly. They, it was like they, the hypest reveal ever. Yeah. It was like, what is this? Like, why why put it out at an event where every company is announcing their stuff when you can have it on a focused event where yeah. you will steal the show? I mean, the nice thing about E3 is that you have press and media from all, all over the world. So yeah, you have something that's major convenient, to reveal. right? Yeah. That's convenient. Like, because I remember when other games got announced, like TwitchCon, it's like, no one's here to cover that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nobody even knows Who's about here? This. Does anyone know yeah, any super PR focused, people? But yeah, nobody from PR anything call, you know, covered anything. So, so anyway. that makes me excited then. Because, you know, we already heard Haradas on talking about it. Like, they're yeah. considering, you know, doing future content. Uh-huh. And that's big. That's big for everyone, that's I think. Huge. Just the fact that they didn't say no or it's not happening or anything right. like that. I got to ask you, Rip, what do you yes. want to see? I want to see custom DLC, more of it. Custom DLC? Like 3P outfits. Oh, I see three, you know, so real, out, real outfits. Yeah, like they, they, they did it in uh, Tekken Revolution, yeah. right? And they sold it as packs. Yeah. And I like to see something like that sold for, for uh, the tour. You know, something like that. We can, you know, what do you call it? Like a compendium to throw uh, the money back to the tour a little bit with DLC? I like to see something like that. Yeah, How actually. How fun the world tours? Actually, actually, I'll say something that I'm working on. I'm working on sort of a compendium for the Tekken World Tour right now. Wait, what? Yes. Uh, it'll probably be revealed pretty soon. So. All right. Uh, there is going to, I mean, I, I saw too, you know, a lot of people have been watching. They were like, Tekken World Tool Prize Pool, man, that's a lot of travel for this month, amount of money. Right. We're going to change that. We're going to change that? We're going to change that. So that's one of my special projects I'm working on All right. with the Namcops. I'm not a Namcop, by the way. Yeah, Mark's not a Namcop. Yeah, otherwise I would have kept the money for myself like those bastards do. He's Never Mr. Mind. All Cops. <laughs> <laughs> all Cops. <laughs> all Cops and All Caps, yeah. man. You got to watch out for those guys. Yeah. But Raiden right now, he's working on this. Such a dominant performance so far. He's going three rounds straight here, potentially in match number two. 
but I don't know, man. I feel like whenever I see Bob on the screen, I can't talk seriously anymore because no. he ruined the Tekken scene for years and years. <laughs> But now he's got a little uh, Hawaiian shirt on there, man. You know, he's chilling. <laughs> yeah, he went shopping with Tasty Steve. <laughs> oh, that's he why his jeans are all torn yeah. up? Yeah. Damn. This makes so he's much like, more bro, sense. bro, you should get it. He's like, nah, man, it looks cool on you. Yeah. If you won't rock it, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, nice. Gets a follow-up. That's cool. I like that. I, I would like to see that, too. You know, yeah. I think I was talking to Michael Murray and last time he was on Team at Combo Breaker. I asked him like, "Hey, what does he want to see? Like, what character do I see?" He was—he mentioned that this was very cryptic. I don't know if it's a hint of anything, right? But he—he he was like, you know, I'd like to see some balance changes. I was like, oh, that's what? interesting. Interesting, you know. Yo, you it's know, been I'm a while. Down. If you think about I'm it, down. if you think about it, the game hasn't seen any major balance changes since the console release, and even yeah. then, that wasn't big like what we've seen in the past. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's been a long time. Uh, it's been over a year now. Yeah, and I feel like. Just, you know, the way that last year when we, we saw Dragonov and Jack and all the finals. Oh, shoot. The newly sponsored Equinox Dimeback. I see him in the crowd right now. Uh-huh. He's coming up. He's going to be coming he's up coming next. He's coming up. Equinox. Equinox. Whatever it is, he's coming up. He's yeah. sitting there, though. He doesn't want to come up. I believe uh, that is his team manager that's sitting right next to him. I think uh, it is. Yeah. Uh, team uh, manager, team owner. Is it Emily? The team owner. I'm sorry. Emily is her name, right? Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't do that. I'm going to talk to her and be like, how do you pronounce the team name? We, we're, we're butchering it right now. Yeah, if she's watching stream. the stream, chat. You oh, she's, she's, oh, she's taking, taking a picture okay, of okay. us. Oh, not of us. Of Dimeback. It's confusing because she's, you know, it's we, should, the we should wave at her and be like, hey, how do you say your team name? I don't want to butcher it. I didn't realize we could actually see people in real life over oh, this Oh, yeah, monitor. they could see us. <laughs> they could see us. It's That's awkward. Like, it's a baseball jersey. It's cool, right? Does he still have the girls underneath? Because nah. <laughs> he always usually I wears think those he does, shirts. dude. Over to Dimeback. Hey, this is sick. He's in full uniform. He's got the baseball helmet on. He's got the, the shirt. The helmet? <laughs> yeah, look at his hair. Look at that smile, man. I haven't seen him this happy before. So, okay, you know, a lot of players, they get that power up when they get sponsored. They become uh, some better. Some of them are the opposite, man. Well, some of them are, but you know. I think most of them are the opposite. Really? First turn when you sponsor, you have these new nerves. They're like, oh, man, I got to impress my sponsor. Give me, give me a uh, situation. Give me an example. Um. Um. Who, who, who choked in that in that regard? Fighting GM. Oh, yeah, that was the, the most. Boom. That How's was the that? most. The, I don't that? think anyone really knows that story, though. Right. Like, he was sponsored by EG. The e first second e player, or only second player sponsored right. by EG. And then he was dropped the, the, the next day. That was crazy. That was one okay, of the craziest that's ones, one, right? That's one. That's one. There's more. I feel like, um, man, who was it? See? No, no, there's way more. There's way more. Punk? Uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Well, we're talking about Tekken, bro. All right, I'm just we're saying, yeah, So, like, Kudans, uh, uh. when he got sponsored by UIU. Oh, yeah, he, he messed up the first time, didn't he? Did he? I thought he won. Did he? Yeah. Uh, he's been hit or miss. But it was at a TWT event. All right. He's doing pretty well. Yeah. Me? I feel like, actually, you're right. They all suck afterwards. Yeah. Everyone falls off at first. All right, let's see Dimebag. Let's not, let's, let's break see, the yeah, curse. Yeah, Dimebag. Prove it to us here and now. Yeah. Put the suck out of Oscar. <laughs> Oh boy, that's how he's gonna start off. Yeah, tooth Four fairy. Two? Oh man, it's a dimeback versus a B. I thought we were talking about like pool we were looking at. All right, B is a person. <laughs> yeah. All right, B. Let's go. It must be really hard to get that Twitter handle too. That's impossible. <laughs> yeah. Okay, two, three, follow Yo, up here. Dime back. All right. Do you know what uh, Equinox is? Uh, the Equinox is uh, a time of year. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's the time or day twice each year. Yes. At which the sun crosses and the celestial equator. Yeah. When day and night are of equal length. Equinox. What does that mean in terms of esports? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we should ask. Yeah. Why? Are you, it, it's, it's about balance. Oh, so, I see. So, oh, it's like yin and yang. Yeah, maybe. Sun and moon. Uh, Nine days. It's a Pokemon thing? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyways. Uh, oh, oh dime boy. back! Welcome to sponsorship. Oh my God! Let's go, Blom Bob, BB. Ha! Ah! I got you. <laughs> yeah, it's early. Whoa! Divine Cannon. Nice. He should be able to push towards the wall here. This is not a good start for dime back. Oh man, dime back. Okay, Don't get the wall. Sponsorship. Here we go. Follow up here. Your team manager is watching. Your team owner is watching. It's pressure that way, man. It's too much pressure. Under He's pressure. Wearing... Under pressure. Now what? Uh oh. Didn't let it go. Oh, oh the can, can opener. Oh, oh, my God. He, he could have, have had the follow. Oh, my God. Did he block? He's going to block it. Please block. I'll get, I'll get so mad if he didn't block. He's nervous. Dimeback is smiling. Arms are ready. Smiling. Mom smiling. spaghetti. <laughs> what? You say his arms are ready? Mom uh, uh, spaghetti. Uh, something arm sweaty. Uh, <laughs> then. Arms I'm, are ready. <laughs> Mom spaghetti. Well, well, his arms are ready. I'm I saw him. Yeah. 
Man, who watches that guy anyways? <laughs> oh, God, that's pretty good, though. Oh, oh good ready. chance to can open a counter hit. That was the second time it landed. Didn't get the Bro. four. Oh, my uh, there gosh. There it is. Down 14. All right. B. Chill. Chill, B. Chill. B, B. Uh oh. Hey, hey. Uh -oh. No wall flat. Oh. Hammer head. It's a hammer head. Oh, the punish on the get up kick. Final round. Match number one. Man, Dimac, his smile is slowly fading off his face. Yeah. I'm kind of nervous oh. for him. Oh, look at that. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my that God. That sucks. What the hell? Man, he's get up kicks to kill him. B. Stop with the get up kicks. It's killing you. Counter it for oh. convert. Okay, he got the combo Sexy. follow up. Oh, what is that? What the hell, Dimac? Oh, why are you backflipping with your back to the what wall? What is he doing? He's making it interesting. He has rage. Oh, oh. Count out. Boom! Yo, Dimebag. The final round. Half of the stage was in the day, half of it was at night. The Equinox. That's what it is. Of course. <laughs> Just like half of his ass cheek is on the chair, half of it is off. <laughs> The balance, the, the equinox. equinox. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> he's smiling. Look at him. He hurt us. He's had that smile Look at him. The he's whole settling time. it in right now. Look at that. Oh, Woo. yeah. Let me get both left of these cheek, on this chair. Left cheek, right cheek. <laughs> I'm going to trade it. Get the other one to hang off. All right. Going to the Kinder Gym. Oh, we rarely see this stage. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. In tournament, especially. Michael Murray rebalancing the stage choices. Yeah, he's, he's taking us away from the Arctic. Yeah, dude, I always get that in my tournament match. It kills me. Down back threes. Down back fours, I mean, my man. Tooth Fairy. All right, we're in there. Down back. I think he's settled in right now. I think he just had first game of the day jitters. He's cool now. Sweeping the leg. Goes to fall up anyway, even though it wasn't guaranteed. And the counter. Down back looking solid. Can't open a block this time. All right, down back's awake. He's awake. He's like, I got sponsored for a reason. Don't watch that first game. That was just me fooling around. Putting on a show for the people. Uh oh, gets the grab. Nice break. Again. All right, flow oh, combo. I mean, you had the jab already. That's Damn enough B. confirmation, right? Okay. Hey, hey. Uh -uh. Now, what kind of mix up are we going to see here? What oh the? my gosh. Is that a setup? The corpse carry. Uh oh. It's still able to get the break that there from doing break. the reversal stance. Oh my god. Dive back, you jerk. Forward three could have been a better point. Down forward two. Here we go. You know what a dime back is, right? What's a dime back? It's a refund. A refund? Yeah, let me get that dime back. Oh, I see. Actually, I wonder what his name is. Ooh. Oh, the rage drive. And hey, look at that. Another Just like one. that. You know, after the shaky first match, dime back continuing his dominance here, showing, you know, he wanted to give a taste. He wanted what to get the? people's mouths wet. Did you see what he just did? Yeah, that was kind of weird. Oh, what a troll. Okay. He's, he's trying to build his Twitter followers right now. You guys go follow him on Twitter. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot he uh, he's more active on Twitter now. I don't know if he is. I think, I mean, he, he's... It, it was a lie. Well, he has to be Look now that he's fun. Oh, right my now. God. That's Yo. it. And Dimeback taking it. Man. Equinox. Dimeback. Look at that. Sponsor. Smiles on their faces. Dimeback. Bringing joy. Going to be a long-term sponsored player. I can feel it. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, like, they're, I don't even know they're, what they're talking about they, Yeah, they're like, the they're hell? waving, and they're like, yeah. That's our player right there. Can't and Rick's, uh, Rick's is sitting in the crowd, unimpressed. Oh, is he going to play up next then? Usually you get sent up here to sit in this front row. Yeah. Ooh, he is. Oh, oh I, know I, didn't even know, I didn't even know Lud played Tekken. That's sick. Lud? Yeah. Yeah, he do. I always knew him as a guy that always picked female characters in Street Fighter and other fighting games. Who's he playing this game? Though? It has to be Katarina. a girl. It has to be a girl character. It has to be. I bet it's Katarina. Because he only picks girl characters. Man, look at Cody Boo. Oh. Unsponsored Cody Boo? Yeah. He's not sponsored? No. Wow. Well, unless he's sponsored by collared shirts. Yeah, polo shirts. Get polo him out. Cody Boo. Old Navy. He looks like he got a lot of sleep last night. Yeah. Definitely not. Well, they're probably out wave dashing in the streets. I mean, I think uh, in Cody's room is Jimmy J. Tran and Fab. Oh. So I'm sure they played a lot of Tekken last night. Yeah, or they talked about Tekken. Yeah, Sukin was in my room last either night. That, we got either that or they were making out. It's one or the other. Yeah, one of those two. It's hard to tell with Jimmy J. Yeah. Disgusting. Yeah. Top three make out, USA. Maybe he was lubing his Korean leg. Oh, God. Don't use that word. <laughs> What? Wait, does Jimmy play the Korean stick? No, he doesn't. He's a Japanese. Wow. Yeah, Jimmy he's a small Japanese, knob. Huh? Yeah, he's a small knobber. <laughs> 
Who is Lug gonna pick? Asuka? <sighs> he seems like an Asuka player. Right, yeah, he does. All right, is he using Devil Jin? Let's see Devil Jin. Because I know he's been playing a little bit of Devil Jin. He's considering it. What are you doing there, Cody? Oh, he's just warming up his movement. Yeah. No, he's not. Yeah, he's, he's making... Oh, Kazuya. Okay, this should be fun. We don't really see Kazuya too often. All right, Lud, what do you got? Get ready for the next Game number one. This is still pool action. If you guys are joining us very early in the tournament. We're in pool H2 right here. If you guys are following along on Smash.gg. Oh, man, we got some cosplayers out here. Do we? Where? Dead ahead. Yeah, I was gonna mention, our uh -oh. commentary area is so funky today because we're just facing the crowd. There's nothing shielding us. I know. The people could throw shit at us. They could definitely throw I hope they don't listen. Don't put us on the house mic. Don't do it. Anyways, we're gonna get in, started here. The Forgotten Realm. Cody Wu versus Ludovic. Hey, he, up oh, forward three countered. All right, he knows what he's doing. Game on. Downstairs? No, he wants just to walk off. Yeah, three ring circus, follow up. Punish. Man, all right, we got a match. Yo, Cody, you shouldn't have slept on this man. Oscar's oh, a good boy. character. Uh oh, electric. Uh, I, I wish you went for the drive. The that downtown early? combo. Yeah, because he can do crazy combos. Oh, do it now. Down there. Oh, do it again. Now he can drive, right? Oh, yeah. Look at the damage, and he's in devil form. What's he going to do? Reverse hug. Oh, Woo! my God. Get this blues out of here. Yo, the Weibu Weibu is coming out. Lud had a good start and another good start. Counter it. Yeah, gets the counter it. Knee, the follow up here. Maybe going to. No, it doesn't go downstairs. Wow. Well, yeah, gets the wall setting attack. The follow up here. Whoop, in the wall. Uh huh. God fist. Oh, he missed it. Oh, boy. Beautiful punish. Back one, two. Going yeah. down again. Basement boys. Yep, this time having another opportunity with the back four. Missed the combo follow up. Goes for the stone head. Unable to get it. Power crush. No punish. Oh, my God. Nice blocks. No punish that time. Blood's still in the round. Oh, into the power what crush. A power crush. Oh, just a pixel left. The blocks. Yeah. Oh, God. The gut punch. And, man, Cody able to pull it out. Squeaking it out. Two rounds up now. You know what I love? What? When we do commentary and we say the word no punish, it pisses off some people. No punish. Yeah. No punish. <laughs> oh, man. He pressed the left button. No punish. Counter. Sweep the leg. He's wearing a trench coat. It feels like, oh! It's like that? You better do something cool with it. God, Yo, look at that damage. damage. Whoa. What the hell? And yeah. now he's on the other side doing another combo. GG, game one to Cody with the perfect. How sick. And of course, lots of props. If you guys saw that gut punch there, that down forward two into the electric wing office launch, that is a perfect input. You need to have a perfect input to be able to pull that off. And one of the hardest things to do in second. Yeah, you gotta check it out. Make sure you got it on time. Here we go, though. Game number two. All right, look. He, you wouldn't be able to tell. Cody just won that last match. He looks really sad for some reason. Maybe it's because he didn't get the sleep. Nice. Okay, good one for the one plus two. There's a four. Oh, he again going for that gut punch. Nice, good defense there against the back three. Nice and patient, gotta be so against Oscar. Oh, again, had an opportunity there. Yo, Thought man, he was gonna land it. It's so scary to play against someone like Cody where you know they can electric you. You can't whip anything. Yeah. I mean, that that, that actually kind of helps. I think as a player, you gotta tighten up and just make sure that you don't whip. That's the key. Oh, uh, like I said. Tighten up. Tighten up your buttocks. Yeah, both butt cheeks on the chair. Uh-huh, Equinox. <laughs> That would be a sick team slogan. Oh. Equinox. Both, Both butt, butt cheeks, cheeks on, on the chair. chair. <laughs> balance that ass. Life's about balance. Man, the electric from Cody, though. Yep. Hey, hey. Nice. Down 4 3 hits grounded. Follow up here flat. again with more combo. Again. Ooh. Another perfect for Cody. He's collecting them. He's going life. after your gym badge. 
the fall. We'll see what he's going to do here. Blood's got good positioning right now. He's got to make sure. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's been using a lot more of the health sweep in the matchup. It's been yeah, working out. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what the read is there. It's like, this guy's not doing anything on my leg. He's blocking all the standing. I'm going to hit him in the leg. Yeah, he's just not ducking at all. Mm -hmm. Oop. Like, Cody, he's wants another counter in down 4 2. Caught him out of the air, not able to do anything out of it. Into the stone head, good break there from Blood. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh my and god. That is all she wrote, folks. Yo, we've had some sexy missions with the start off the day. We saw Kudans earlier against Nashi. Yeah. And now Cody versus Lud. I feel like, you know, the Mishimas are playing the Mishimas in tournament. It's a lost <laughs> art form. <laughs> it's a lost art oh, yeah. form. Speaking of lost art form, you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes it's just lost. Yeah. Ouch. Coming up next, we got Rixta. Oh, Rixta, thank you for showing Please up. Please sit down and get in that chair, Ricky. Yep. Thank you. Oh, uh, he's too short. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Someone uh, changed the angle to the game screen or something. <laughs> God. Oh. Rix, though, is, uh, I, I, I will well. do commentary with my eyes closed. Thank you very much. Rix, uh, going up here against CTW. Tell Rix to stand up. <laughs> it's, it's the same difference. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am standing up. Oh, my bad, dude. All right, whew. All right, cool. Thank God for secondary cameras. All right, here we go. You're good? You're yeah, good? I'm great. All right. Oh, man. Good times here in Daytona. I was going to say we're in Orlando. Oh, no. Yeah, I almost said it yesterday, too. CED. Community Effort Daytona. I hope he brings it, man. I don't want him to be playing booty yeah. butt cheeks. It's like when uh, WWF, they had to get the F out. Yeah, CEO, that was they weird. got to get the D in. Damn. <laughs> Jabali's goal is to get the D in the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I always knew he was after the D. Mm -hmm. All right, Dragon's Nest. So we have CTW going up against Rixa. Rixa probably using Akuma. Oh, yeah. He's I would guess. It's so funny. Die 1,000 deaths. At W and F, he was debating so hard about which character to use against Ling Xiaoyu. So he yeah. tried Bob because he, he hates it with Akuma, right? Yeah, how did it work? Uh, he lost to Bob, and then he beat the guy with Akuma. I was like, <laughs> what? Come Good on, stuff. Bro. I like it. Just take the remains, guys. It'll yeah. be fine. Do what you know. Take it. All right, we this got should a be fun. And, you know, it was crazy because, you know, Bandai Namco or the, the, the Namco team has been posting highlights from past tournaments lately. Mm -hmm. And you saw on the highlight reel, Rixta had two of the highlights. I was oh, like, really? damn. I didn't see that. What was that from? Uh, it's on the Twitter if you can check it out. Oh, one, nice. of our, one of the media groups we work with posted it. Okay. Jump in. All right. See, this is a huge tell right now. If you watch the outset of the match, is wow. probably going to be trying to find out whether or not his opponent, CTW, knows how to fight against him. What? He low parried the second Bro. hit. Okay, All right, he knows CTW. something. He know, okay, yeah, never I mean, mind. He doesn't know combos. The way but he, yeah, you know, the way he was playing early was really compact. I was like, all right, this is a really interesting idea against Kuma. It'll be hard for him to jump in on you. Uh, but then he dropped the conversion right away. But then the slide came out really fast. I was like, all right, I'm very confused about his knowledge level here. Interesting. You know, I, oh, I'm, I'm confused. I don't know what he does, though, or not. Exactly. Oh, man, kind of really? Too risky, The right? jump in, yeah, I wouldn't do it. The timing and the active hitbox of the attacks from the jump in is so scary. What's the notation for Akuma's overhead? Forward 1 plus 2. Okay. Forward 12. Yeah. For you, 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 <laughs> you, 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 Look at he lit him up there for like 60%. That was good stuff. That was one of my favorite episodes last season. Mm hmm Oh trying to bait him. Okay, the jump in again uncontested. The parry. He's, he's not afraid to use that parry, but I mean you better get the follow-up afterwards. Wow. Oh my what the Oh my what? god! Rick's the you're a genius. And he teleports out both players with rage. Yeah. Which has got a bar to work with. The jabs are just single. What is happening? I don't know. Oh, oh he no. gets it. See, I feel like he went for a parry again there, and that's probably why so? he got hit on the jump in. I mean, he dashed it for the jab, right? Oh, oh. My. yeah, okay, I like that option better. If he's gonna keep jumping into you anyway, yeah. let the wild stand two rock. Go for the anti air. Yeah. Wow, look at that sidestep. Wild stand two from Rixa, though. 4 4 2 Rick's 1 follow up. Oh, he didn't get the second into he his got lead. the Rick. Uh uh, 4 3. Now, what else? Ooh, no launch punish afterwards. That's a free down 4 2, free hop kick. 
this is so funky. Yeah. How is that? Man, everything is just turning around. Back two, interesting. Oh my gosh, I fell for it. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I got hit by it three times. Wow, oh, up. here we go. He puts him into rage. He gets what? him with a jumping three. Interesting. I like it. Oh, the, the berry. berry. The fireball. Oh, what's he going to do? Oh, yo. Nice. All right, CTW. You're still in this. CTW putting up a fight. Sweep the leg. Rick's are going in. He gets the top to FADC combo. All the way to the wall. Oh, no. Whip the uppercut. But he gets the down three into the top two again. And a huge lead now. Rick the. Working on a perfect, not gonna get it. People perform beautiful punch straight into Rage Art. All right, it's gonna make up some life here. But I don't know about spending the Rage so early there. Oh man, gonna run over his feet. What are you doing, bro? What are you gonna do? Oh boy, one, two, three, all right. Dumped, jeez. Rick, the closing out the first game. Seeing the crowd there, Spiro Jin, Jody the Great, Mr. Dirt Rub himself. Oh, here comes the advice. What'd he say, what'd he say? You're dropping combos. <laughs> Stop it. You know, he had some interesting ideas in the matchup, you know? Yeah, yeah. Things, things kind of worked out, but man, I, I don't like the, the fact that he relies on the parry so much. I do Same. not like that. Oh my gosh, my Arctic friend. Arctic Snowfall. My friend, Arctic Snowfall. My friend. I mean, no walls. Personally, I feel it's uh, difficult for a lot to get damage without lot walls. Uh, but it's good against Akuma because he hurts you on the wall. Yeah, and you know one of the other things that we really didn't see in the matchup so far is I feel like, you know, Akuma doesn't have the best tracking moves. He really mm -hmm. doesn't. I mean, there's very few moves that he has to actually track. Right. I'd like to see more sidesteps, more sidestep down forward two, more sidestep jab. Even 3 plus 4. Is 3 plus 4 is such an underutilized tool because uh -huh. it's actually, you know, one of those things where you can kind of check the opponent and see what they're going to do. Are they going to duck afterwards? Yeah. It's, it's worth throwing out there. The thing uh -huh. about 3 plus 4 against Akuma, though, he can always down jab Tatsu. Always. That's tight. Whether you finish it or not. So That's tight. I'm sure he knows that. Wow, beautiful combo here. Oh, yeah. Rixa definitely knows it. Yeah. That's why I learned it. I was like, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Never used to be before against Akuma unless it's a whip punish. Wow. All right, he's doing really well. A solid start. That was much better for him. Yeah, dude, I mean, the way he's playing really compact, as you mentioned, with the side steps as well, is really helping him. But, wow, and he oh ducked the grab. Oh my gosh. Yo, we got combos now. All right, CTW's away. A super compact place. I like it. Wow. Look at the step. Now he is just completely changing it up. There's a counter here. While standing three, there's the follow up from Rixta. Gets the screw, but what's he going to do now? What? Down four or three? Interesting choice. Maybe Oki. He tried to step in. Nice patience there. Does he have to be careful? He's using more of the jab ADC. strings. He's, oh, oh, he missed opportunity. it. Oh, God. He dropped it. He's the one that taught me it. <laughs> oh, He's no. nervous. Man, he could have converted that to Rage Art if he didn't hit too many jabs. Just to pick up. Man, this Rage Art would really kill him. Oh, he's so going to have to be careful. Oh, my oh! God. I like the idea, but the air fireball got him. If oh, my God. he just grabbed him in a jab, I oh. think he would have stopped the fireball. But here we go. Rick's on the board. Second game. CTW, he's adjusting to this matchup. I like it. Single jab. Yep, smart. That's how you go underneath, actually. Do something. Okay, low jab to put the brakes on. Good block. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful conversion. Into nothing. And not even a DSS. Yeah. He's you like, don't you think I dropped it? I didn't even try it. Pop kick. Ooh. Oh, he dropped it again. This time going for the mid option there. Gets the big judo chop. The follow up. Yeah, he's tech rolling. He's oh, moving. Oh, no, he's hot. 4 3. Hey, hey, hey. All right. This is going to be big right here. This round. Oh, he could have no punished that. Punish. No punish. Uh, no. He had a couple chances there, but here we go. Set point now for Rixta. Okay, fishing with the jabs. I like what I'm seeing. You know, Rixa is playing in a, a different fashion. He's kind of controlling it a little bit more, being a bit more compact with his pokes, using more of the jab. Less demon flip, less jump in for sure. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Wow, that didn't even hit clean. That crowd strong. Oh <laughs> my god, how did that whiff? You got to use forward for it to make sure it hits. If you just do standing forward, it'll whiff like that Commitment sometimes. issues? Commitment issues? Yeah, you got to hold forward, bro. <laughs> Can't oh. do it. 
I don't know her like that. Okay. Oh, Rexta. A little bit Style of crazy off. Rixta, crazy dope pal. Nice Very combo. nice. Very nice. Rixta. Starting off the day strong, hitting some combos. I like it. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and get our next match up here. We have UIU's Peeling coming up, and that is the best name I've seen in a long time. Yeah. Mr. Thodicus Maximus. I said Mr., but I actually don't know. Yeah. Who is Thodicus Maximus? More than Maximus? likely. Oh, do you see that Brian cosplay over there? Wow, that is a cool Brian. I like it. Is that on camera? Yeah, it is. It is. Check it out. On the left side of your screen. Huge cosplay improvement, in my opinion. Yeah. But where's the big... Uh, the big... The beam. Uh, the big... Oh, the oh, metal beam. That, the that big was. one. <laughs> no, let's not bring that up again. The big beam, of the course. The big metal beam. What else could you have been referring to? Oh, wait, he, he lost a zipper. Oh, no, yeah. No need for zippers anymore. You realize you can just pull it up and down. Okay, there's Thodicus oh, Maximus. Oh, yeah. System of a down. I'm a fan. Yeah. I don't know what that shirt is. Cool. Maximus System of a down. <laughs> oh, man. Hope you guys are having a good time out there. Of course, you guys are watching CEO 2018 live from Daytona. Daytona. Dude, the beach out here, I got to say, is pretty whack. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's surprising. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's all right. I was pretty excited to come out here. I was like, dude, I'm going to go to the beach. It's going to be a good take. Because, you know, there's nothing to do on Friday for Tekken players here, right? Except yeah, there wasn't really anything. To, to All of the Tekken will be today and the top eight tomorrow. Right. And so I looked out the window and I was looking at this beach. You know, we got this, the hotel, the ocean view is pretty nice, right? Yeah. But you're, then, so you're, uh, you're right across the way, right? I'm at the Hilton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so I was just looking outside. I'm like, man, that is uh, some beach. That's what happened when you come from California, I guess. Yeah, we're spoiled. We're super spoiled. You, know, you don't realize it until you, until you go away from it. Visit Daytona. Yeah. <laughs> what, I, do you, what do you think about uh, Orlando versus Daytona? I don't like either one of them. <laughs> yeah. No insult you know, to got, people that live there. I got it. You know, last year, I think it was, or the year before, I had the interview with Esteban. We, yeah. Where I said, like, Orlando was ass, blah, 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 you know? I, was, I can't, first of all, I can't believe he used that. But yeah, he wanted to all, put you on blast. Yeah, he did. But second of all, I got to say, the weather here seems slightly better than Orlando. Yeah, I, mean. I think it's because we're closer to the beach, too. Yeah, we're literally yeah, at we're, the beach. Yeah, we're, we're literally at the beach. If not, it'd probably be just as nasty. You know, actually, now that I think about it, this is actually closer to the beach than VXG was. Actually, that is true. Yeah. And VXG was also nasty. It was at the beach, yeah. yeah. But that water, that beach was nicer. Of course. It's the of Caribbean. Course. Yeah. But here we go. UYU Peeling versus Thodicus Maximus. I just found out what Thought what, uh, is. <laughs> All right. Education, uh, educational that Saturdays. Honey over there. That honey, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Which one, that dude right there? No, 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 the other one in the corner. Gotcha. Anyway, starting it off, Thodicus Maximus with the Lara. You know, usually Peeling doesn't really have a problem in this matchup. No. Knowing the character I mean, very well. I mean, he definitely has no problem against the Speed Kicks matchup. But does he know Horan? A lot of backwards touches off. AOP underneath. Of course, that's what he's going to do. He's Ling Xiao Yu. Bars. Uh-huh. Break that wall. Beautiful conversion. I didn't know if he was going to get that pickup, but he got it. Well, interesting choice there. Standing three. And the power crush to close out the first round. Smart stuff. Yeah, I like it. Oh, they trade blows. Okay. Oh. Wow. A a AOP under that. <laughs> oh, Mike Park on the power card. Michael Murray balance matches right now. Beautiful back turn parry and oh, uh, she's buff. Yeah. She's tossing dudes like nothing. Hey, did you see the Horan cosplayer out here? No, I didn't see. It's pretty cool. Why? I mean, just it's oh, a just good cosplay. Good? Oh, okay. Yes, well, well I like to see cosplay. good Tekken cosplay. It's very rare that right. I see Tekken cosplay, so I I'm looking forward to it. It's the, the classic Horan, too. But man, all right, big counter in four this time for Peeling. Running away with his first game. He's got to be one of the favorites now that uh, Tadakana didn't show up for a pool with him. But here we go. Conversion, Tadakus with the Peacekeeper counter it. All the way to the wall. Pressure. Peeling wakes up ducking. Oh my god. Did you see that? He knew exactly what he was doing. Double AOP from each hit. That's a cheater right there. That man is a cheater. Arrest him, officers. <laughs> that man right there. How are you going to talk to him with the mask on? What a rude little dude. Bobbing his head. Oh, he's also playing on a hitbox style controller. Wow, we're seeing a lot of these out here nowadays. Huh? Yeah, get rid of them all. Set them get to rid of them all. <laughs> I'm an arcade stick guy. Mm hmm. What do you call uh, those devices as a, um, as a type? 
I mean, hitbox you know, is the genre. popular term, but hitbox is also uh, the name of an Company, actual product. Right, yeah. Right, yeah. So uh, I don't know. Uh, button style controller, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it's like it's not a fight stick, right? Like a fight stick kind of got popularized into all the joystick style controllers. And you got all the pad players, right? But here we go, game number two. Pressure. Man, how did he do that? Did he see that? Was He's, that a reaction? It's, it's definitely the, he has the, the mind's eye. He has the third eye. In his mouth? <laughs> I was drinking water, Rip. <laughs> Mark totally almost spat out that water. That was great. Yeah, there's an expensive camera here. I didn't want to do it. All right, Thodicus. Oh, the board. I think that should be our new thing. When we're doing commentary with each other, we have to make the other person throw up. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. Let's see how good you are. I can't do it, man. I'm too tall. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you mentioned oh, uh, spit out their water. Yeah, Next time go. I there see you, you drinking, I'm going to I'm gonna <laughs> punch you in the stomach. <laughs> that's the only way. Go. My good humor strategy. is not that good enough. Turn me upside down and punch me in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think the turning upside down thing will be enough. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, other side. Yeah, have uh, Hanzo grab your thigh or something. Ew. <laughs> Wow, trade into the radar. Smart choice from peeling. Yeah. Recognizing might not have had enough damage to the wall. Just hit the rage art. All right, I did see a few more. So the Brian cosplayer is sitting in the crowd. I wonder if we'll be able to get a good shot. Then we have like we should have a tech and cosplay contest. We have a few of them right now. Yeah. Is there a cosplay contest here at this event? I think there is. There is. I think there is. Okay, because there is some good cosplay here actually. Nice, good sidestep, man. See, Peeling just really knowing the character's abilities and matchups Ooh. and options. What the hell was that? That was sick. They get the raccoon swing. Getting a lot of mileage out of him. Here's the fourth. Oh, no, that's done. How did he that's know? That's done. He knew. He's gone to practice yeah. mode a couple times. The, I mean, that's the, one of the big problems with Warang is a lot of his attacks have so much uh, startup and they're so linear. So Peeling, knowing this, already starting to step, already starting to do certain transitions yeah. that put him into a good position. If or you guys advantages. at home are having trouble against Warang, Go back and watch this matchup. There are certain things that Peeling does against Horang where you will be able to do the same thing against a lot of other Horang players. Nice. Oh, caught him moving. See, that is one of the few tracking moves only from right foot forward, though. Yeah, you can't deal with any other character, though. Don't do AOP. Ignore all the AOP shenanigans. Oh, I can't, can't believe girl. he landed that. That was crazy. All right, good stuff. So Peeling moving on, of course, on the winner's side. Uh-huh. But, man, we have way more Tekken that's going to be coming up. Ton. I am super excited. Uh, can we zoom in on the Brian cosplayer? That's pretty yeah, dope. Brian Cosplay is right there in yeah. front of Peeling's mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, zoom right there. Look at it. She got the mask and everything. Third you row. Think, you think they'll do the, the taunt pose or the laugh? I think they're hiding. Is there a screen? Do they know that they're on the screen? All right. Well, but, yeah, it's been fun. It was lovely. We're still going to be here. But I heard we're taking a quick break, and we're going to be back with more tech in action, CEO 2018 in Daytona. That's the place. That's this game. It just has, you know, style. They say style.